Right, fuck it, we're just gonna do this. Right, so hi everyone, I am Hugo, otherwise known as um, Bambi's Experience. Experiences with Bambi. Fuck no, this is still working with it. Uh, so this is my first YouTube video, so it's gonna be mega awkward. And that sucks for you guys, and it sucks for me, but we're just gonna fucking roll with it now, because I committed it in my head. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. I kind of thought why I wanna do these videos. It's kind of like just document and vlog my journey in through my 20s, which is fucking hard. Um, and figuring shit out and kind of taking you guys along with me and also kind of like a self-reflection for myself. So recently I kind of got into makeup, I'm not heavily into makeup, but I was like, you know, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like a few, like, you know, like a little cute little eye moment. So we just went into Brighton Pride and I'll show you the image when I do some post editing, fuck you, whatever work. Um, so I'm kind of facing doing this for a little bit of fun and I'm kind of just going with it. So I'm just gonna waffle, waffle. Um, so I apologize again. Um, so for this kind of video, we're just gonna do simple like gold shimmery eyeshadow look. So I'm kind of feeling along the way as to what's been going on, why I'm wearing a rugby t-shirt. Um, and yeah, kind of explain what the fuck's been happening in London. Um, right. So. Also, this makeup's really cheap, it's a from Superdrug. Um, just because I'm getting into it and I don't want, I didn't want to get too much too many expensive palettes just in case I like bombed it completely. Oh my god, it's weird when you do it on the video with a camera. Um so I washed my face and it's looking a bit shit as per, but we're gonna fucking put loads of BB cream on there and cover that shit up. Um right, so the way I start it usually is I use this NYX professional makeup primer. Um, so we're just gonna prime my fucking lids and use this big ass beauty blender to dab them in. Dab them in, rather. Um, so let's do that. <laughs> ah, okay, like that. Looking really shit. Um, so I currently live at home um, and I've always been a London boy. I go it's hard when you talk like that. It's weird, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to put a bit more because I just feel like I need a bit more, you know. So yeah, living in London is pretty cool. Uh, I say like I've been anywhere else, I haven't. Um, but it's also a freaking mess right now with the whole Brexit thing. Um, right, so this is an MUA Makeup Academy Professional Kit that I got from Superdrug. It's really fucking cheap, so... I'm gonna go for this kind of weird gold thing, which I dabbed into before. So I'll put that shit in my eye. And like my mate gave me this cute little Too Faced Mr. Right brush set. So we're just gonna use that and see how it goes. <laughs> so. It's kind of got a little bit of satin sign. But okay, so don't judge. I do not honestly have the technique down. This is just kind of a little bit of fun, so don't cancel me and whatever. Um, but I'll show you some cute looks, the makeup looks that I did over summer and at a rugby match, like back in October. Obviously, I have no idea what this is going to turn out, so your guess is as good as mine, girl. And then I got this gold liner thing. So we're just gonna try that and see how that goes because that is. So it's like a weird little oh it's not weird per se. It's um this gold liner that you can blend out from uh, Rimmel London. Again I got this in Super Drug which is like not Super Drug sorry I got it in Boots which is basically a cosmetic pharmacy store in the UK. It's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good much everything in there that you can want. So it is, let's see if this works better, basically. Cause it's a lot golder. Look at that, yeah. Yeah, look at that shit, that looks bomb. Um, let me try. The beauty blender. I think it's a fucking beauty blender. And kind of smoke it out. 
Well, it's not looking that great. But we're just gonna fucking roll with it. With this one and kind of dab the outside bit. So it's kind of goldy a little bit, but not goldy. It's more um, brownie. But we love brownies up in this household, so that works too with us. So it's kind of cute, I think. It's kind of like not gold, like it's that's kind of hope you can see it's like brownie. Um, and then I'll clean that up with some micellar. I'm kind of happy with that, to be honest. Considering it's been a while since I've practiced, but that's another thing I need to practice more. So, mm, that's kind of cute. It kind of goes with my kit. Um, oh yeah, shit, I was supposed to tell you about the kit. So I'm part of this rugby team called the South London. But um, so it's a fairly new group, never done rugby before in my life. Um, and I started in April and I'm kind of also the social sec for it. Well, when I say social sec, I kind of, so it's me and this other friend of mine called Dan Cooper. Well, sorry, Dan, he's called Dan. Maybe we shouldn't give our friends names on the internet. Um, but it's kind of, we kind of help organize social events and stuff for the club. Um, and unfortunately I fucked up my fucking ankle. Uh, wait, um, about eight weeks ago. So during training, I went to try and score the try and my foot kind of went like, so it kind of sprained and for seven weeks, I thought it was just a torn ligament. So I was doing some physio and pre but like whenever I do like a lunge and put my knee forward, it like fuck, it like super hurts. Um, went to hospital last week, did an x-ray. Turns out I fucking fractured my, my ankle. So not happy about that considering I went to the hospital when I went to the hospital seven weeks ago, um, was it eight weeks ago? Seven weeks ago, they said, go home, it's just a fucking sprain, here's the letter, fuck off. So I'm not very happy. And ever since I've done rugby now, it's kind of become like my boyfriend. Um, I really fucking miss it, which is weird because I've always been much of a gamer and don't care about sports, but I fucking love rugby now. Um, and also I play with an LGBT team, so it's just gay and fun and everyone has like a kiki. So during one time during a match, we had like a mini tournament, Back in July, I want to say, up in, up in Birmingham for Touch My Brum, I literally vogued every time we scored a try. It was amazing. I mean, we lost we lost towards, we got to like the quarterfinal of our team, and we lost, but it was so good. It was so fun. Like, I was like, wow, okay, it's great. So this is also going to be a video about my journey into rugby. Um, right, so let me do the other eye real quick. It's also a little bit shitty, so let me prime my lids with my Mac. My Mac. My NYX. My NYX. Primer. Um, as you can tell, I'm uh, the next MUA. Uh, and let me just tell you guys, it is fucking freezing in London. It is so fucking cold. It's a fucking joke. And it's not even like cold weather where it snows. It's just fucking cold. I recommend coming to London in winter. Everyone thinks it's cute. It's not, but yeah, it's cold, guys. So let me go back in again. Ooh. With this brush from Too Faced, a small shader, probably using the wrong brush, but you know, I will try and learn how to use the brushes in future videos. Honestly, do not learn techniques from me. It's more, it's more me learning, learning, hopefully, and then perfecting better looks with the makeup, especially eye makeup, because I just think it's fucking great. And I'll show you, like I said earlier, I'll show you a picture of water, like, my outfit for Brighton. And my friend Sam helped me out with that. And that's kind of how I started this whole journey into makeup. Um, I just felt so fucking fierce. And so, like, hot. It was great. And, like, I'm a big fan of Sailor Moon. Um, so, I wore this red kind of harness with feathers. So, it's kind of a bit like... Um, I want to say carnival-esque. And wore that at Brighton with and it was like just topless and i'm not super body confident but i had like glittery tits it was great so let's blend this out really badly because we're not professionals so i got into that and it was like fucking dope and I was kind of like, why the fuck can, can guys not wear makeup? I mean, I love kind of like mind fucking people now with the whole makeup look. It's freaking incredible. Um, 
I just love mind fucking people with it and I look cute, so it kind of works. Um, okay, so let's get this gold eyeliner thing um, and see if this we can achieve that look on the other side. Probably not. So yeah, it's not going to be a teaching video series. I mean, definitely not. I do quite fuck with this uh, gold eyeliner. It's quite nice, but I hate that. Okay, let me give this hand. I'm left-handed, so life is a little bit more difficult for left-handed people. Okay, fuck it, whatever. It's like, I can't look at that girl that's in the, that I got in the Twitter video, that meme, which is in the back seat with purple glittery lids. She's waking up and she's like, that's me right now. But you know, we're gonna fucking work with it. So I feel cute in this out, this little look slash outfit. But one day I wanna do this kind of like gold and blue moment on my eyes just for the rugby kit. Um, my friends who see this are gonna fucking cheese the fuck out. Um, and I apologize, this is so fucking cringy, but you know, we're just gonna YOLO it, you only live once. All right, so let me do my BB cream. So, at the moment, I don't really like using, I haven't really stepped into foundation, I think I will eventually, but I find that this Garnier BB cream for oily skin, I'm an oily bitch, so just FYI, this is an oily skin account. Um, this kind of helps for me. I always find it leaves like, when I wear it in the office, for example, or when I wear it out to be friends. My face is fairly matte. Um, I also like that it doesn't feel thick and cloggy. Um, so I usually mix it with a bit of simple hydrating, uh, sorry, simple hydrating light moisturizer. And I kind of rub it in together and plonk it, on, plonk it in dots on my face and just dab it out with the beauty blender. It literally takes like fucking no time at all. Let's go girls. Let's go girls. So that's kind of mixed enough. Let me just see real quick. Uh, 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 uh. Well, okay, I didn't, okay. See, I just kind of dab it like that. As you do, you know, with any little thing. Also, I did not get any fucking sleep last night. Um, we had an office Christmas party and it got a little bit wild and I just couldn't sleep, I was just, Got home around one o'clock, so not even too late. But I only had like two hours sleep and I just woke up at three and I could not fucking fall asleep again. Um, so I am a little bit tired today and definitely need some fucking concealer under these lids. Because uh, they are not looking the one. That's kind of it, I think. Yes, yeah, so that's a look. Oh wait, hang on, no, concealer. I need that concealer. I need that concealer. <sighs> Where did that beeper go? Okay, there it is. So I always see them do like this. Oh, that's a really shitty line, but you know, we're gonna work with what we got. And uh, if you can go like that, I'll probably need a bit more. And again, this makeup's really cheap. I got some Primark. Primark is so fucking good. I mean, it's probably not the best quality, but I think for starting out and just for like cheap clothes as well, on the fly, it's fucking dope. And go like that lid, getting a bit more there. And then I wish you would do like that. So guys, if this is shit, I apologize. <sighs> ah! Okay. Ah, also, I was supposed to put a mascara on, but I kind of can't be fucked. Um, simply because it's downstairs in my bedroom and I'm not going downstairs in my bedroom at the moment. But I don't think it's bad. It's definitely like a little bit I feel like I need a bit more setting spray. I need to get, also get one that's like dewy, not matte. Because this looks a little bit matteified right now, so. <coughs> um, oh, sorry, hang on a second. Um, so I haven't got my name completely locked down yet. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Bambi's experience. And a crucial element of the video that I forgot to mention is the Bambi part. So I'll explain that in my next video. In the next video, I'll explain why I got the nickname Bambi and also what the fuck's going on my ankle um, in a bit more depth, just because I've been out of, out of training for like eight weeks, which is not good. Um, I'm missing it terribly. But yeah, guys, this is it. I'm trying to figure out what it is that this YouTube channel-esque is gonna be about. So I think it's literally gonna be what's going on in my life, what I'm doing, 
my journey into a little bit more into makeup um, and in general just into rugby as well like be a mix of things maybe even last game like doing silly videos with my mates um, but we'll see how it goes uh, so yeah stick it out if you want to stick it out with me but um, we shall see um, and that's it fancy frame well wow.